in Earth's history, there have been five large-scale extinctions that completely changed the face of our planet. 98% of animal and plant species disappeared forever. Four out of these five extinctions were caused by the impact of huge asteroids. It was these asteroids that wiped out the trilobites, giant mollusks, and then the dinosaurs. What are the odds that there will not be the cause of humankind's extinction? Where do asteroids come from? How big can an asteroid get? And what would happen if the largest asteroid we knew of struck the Earth? All these and more in today's video. Asteroids are the smallest heavenly bodies. They orbit around stars or planets. This is the scientific description, but one could put it more simply. Asteroids are essentially big rocks that fly through the vacuum of space on a given trajectory. Where do these big rocks, asteroids, come from in space? For billions of years, cosmic dust collected together into formations that gradually grew larger. Such objects are known as planetesimals, sort of building blocks for planets. The greater the mass of such an object, the greater its gravitational hold. As a planetesimal increases in size, it attracts even more cosmic dust and small meteorites, and by this, it grows even more quickly. If a planetesimal takes on enough mass, it can even turn into a fully-fledged planet or a moon for another planet. Otherwise, it remains an ordinary asteroid. Cosmic dust accumulating is not the only way that asteroids can form. Sometimes they appear after big cosmic catastrophes, such as two planets colliding. One planet is quietly moving along on its orbit, but then it hits a large cosmic object and crumbles from the impact. The largest fragments of the destroyed planet become asteroids, while the smallest ones become meteorites. This is where the huge distinction in size lies. The diameter of a small asteroid does not exceed 328 feet. There are around 25 million objects with such a diameter just in our solar system. Asteroids that evolve from cosmic debris can grow to be quite huge. Meet Vesta. Vesta's diameter is approximately 326 miles, and its mass is 259 trillion tons. It's the largest asteroid in our solar system. A close second after Vesta is the asteroid Pallas. It has a diameter of 318 miles. Such giants are rare, however. Asteroids with a diameter over 186 miles can be counted on one's fingers. There are only nine of them in our solar system. But are they really so dangerous? After all, the Earth is huge. What could an asteroid a half a mile across do? It would be like a mouse up against an elephant. The facts show differently, however. A small asteroid just 328 feet across is capable of the same destruction as a 50 megaton hydrogen bomb. It would leave a huge crater behind upon impact, and any nearby cities would be destroyed. A 650-foot asteroid could wipe out a small country, and a 1,600-foot asteroid could wipe Europe or America off the face of the Earth. These are not just theoretical calculations. Such disasters have already happened in Earth's history. 376 million years ago, Sweden's Lake Siljan was formed by an asteroid impact. The resulting crater was 32 miles across. You could fit a city the size of Russia's capital, Moscow, in such a hole. According to scientists, it was the Siljan meteorite impact that led to the Devonian extinction. 250 million years ago, in Antarctica's Wilkes Land, an asteroid 186 miles across struck the Earth and left a crater over 311 miles wide in the area and probably caused the massive Permian extinction. This was the largest ecological disaster in our planet's history. Never has such a thing happened before or since. Over 96% of oceanic species and 73% of land vertebrates were wiped out. After this extinction event, the Earth was emptied out. It took over 30 million years for the diversity of species to be restored. 199 million years ago, the Triassic-Jurassic extinction was caused by a tiny asteroid only 2,460 feet across. Just think about that. In our solar system, there are over 2 million objects of similar size. And yet this one would cause an ecological catastrophe that destroyed 50% of species that inhabited the Earth. 65 million years ago, it was at this time that Tyrannosaurus, Velociraptus, Mosasaurus, and Pelorus utterly vanished from the face of the Earth. 
We know about the existence of these giant creatures only because people have extracted their fossilized skeletons. The cause of this tragedy was an asteroid with a diameter of around 6.2 miles. It fell on the Yucatan Peninsula and left behind a crater measuring 112 miles across and 12.4 miles deep. The force of this impact was equivalent to 100 teratons of TNT. That's two million times more powerful than the largest thermonuclear bomb. Were asteroids the cause of all large extinctions then? This cannot be 100% proven or refuted, but scientists are inclined to believe this is the case. The dinosaurs did not die because they fell into a crater. The hole in the Earth was actually a minor thing. The ecological catastrophe lay in other factors. The monstrous force of the impact awakened volcanoes and caused tsunamis over 328 feet tall. These gigantic waves swept deep into the mainland and drowned whole regions. A shock wave also spread over the face of the planet and sent tons of stone into the air. The result was enormous fires that destroyed millions of acres of forest. 15 trillion tons of soot went flying into the air, causing a sort of nuclear winter. The sun's light could not penetrate through these thick black clouds. The Earth was as dark during the day as at night. Photosynthesis in plants stopped, temperatures on land fell by 50 degrees, and in the oceans by 20 degrees. For many years, the temperature at the Earth's surface could not rise higher than 41 degrees. All the phytoplankton died out, and that formed the basis of the food chain for oceanic creatures. Fish, marines, reptiles, and the dinosaurs slowly died out. Some from cold, and others from hunger. But just what are the chances that our planet will be struck again by an asteroid? You might be surprised, but they're actually quite high. Astronomers even use a special term, near-Earth asteroids. This is a group of celestial bodies whose orbits intersect the Earth's or come very close to it. That is how things look in theory, but it might be different for asteroids. Their orbits can change. Asteroids can collide with one another, and they're affected by the gravity of larger objects, either alone or all together. Periodically, asteroids that approach the Earth end up crashing into it, and this does not happen once every 100 million years, but much more often. Around once in every 10,000 years, humankind can expect a serious cosmic shock. Why don't ancient chronicles mention such catastrophes? Because ancient Egypt arose only 4,000 years ago, the Mesopotamian civilization only 6,000 years ago. We don't have any records older than that. Was it because people just didn't know how to write? Or might there have been developed civilizations that were wiped out? Now astronomers take the threat from space very seriously, and so do politicians. In the USA, Congress tasked NASA with identifying all space objects with a size larger than 450 feet and flying dangerously close to Earth. By 2012, scientists had tallied up 1,360 such asteroids. Astronomers have named the largest asteroids whose orbits come close to Earth. These are Eros, Icarus, Geographus, and Apollo. Eros has a diameter of 20.5 miles. Let's recall that dinosaurs were extinct from an asteroid just 6.2 miles across, i.e. three times smaller. If the asteroid Icarus, Geographus, or Apollo collided with Earth, they would not quite annihilate humankind, but they would cause terrible destruction to our planet and civilization as a whole. The global economy would crash. We would see famine and wars for resources. Humankind's cultural development would stop, and we could return to the ancient rules of survival of the strongest. People who survived an impact by one of these small asteroids would consider the movie Mad Max not fictional, but a documentary. But the most dangerous object in the solar system is the asteroid Apophis, which was discovered in 2005. In 2013, it already came quite close to Earth, at a distance of 8.9 million miles. In 2023, it'll pass just 19,363 miles away, about 445 times closer. In four years, we'll be able to witness an incredible sight. As Apophis passes by the Earth, we'll be able to observe it not just with a telescope, but even with the naked eye. It'll be as bright as the stars in the Little Dipper. In 2036, Apophis will approach the Earth at a distance of fewer than 18,000 miles. Imagine that Apophis collided with our planet. The asteroid's diameter is not so great, just 1,066 feet across. However, that's already enough to wipe out a small European country. Scientists have proposed different values for the asteroid's destructive force. This is because no one knows what the asteroid's made up of, 
what angle a pophis would enter the atmosphere at, or where exactly it would strike. Astronomers have already determined particular high-risk areas, Kazakhstan, southeastern Russia, and the Caribbean. Scientists have even done some preliminary calculations. They suggest that Apophis's density is 187 pounds per square foot, comparable to an ordinary rock, and the speed at which it would enter the atmosphere is just 28,000 miles per hour. The asteroid would impact Earth with a force equivalent to 1,717 megatons. How bad is that? Let's compare. The atomic explosion at Hiroshima was 15 kilotons. The legendary Soviet weapon Tsar Bomber was 58 megatons, and the eruption of the volcano Krakatoa was 200 megatons. That means if this meteor fell on Earth, we'd end up with about 30 Tsar Bomber hydrogen bombs or nine eruptions of Krakatoa. Now let's imagine that Vesta, the largest meteorite in the solar system, deviates from its orbit. Let's assume the same calculated values. A density of 187 pounds per square inch and an atmospheric entry speed of 28,000 miles per hour. If we now apply those values to an object with a diameter 326 miles across, the results are horrific. The force of the impact would equal 5 trillion megatons. This number is simply unimaginable. It'd be like the volcano Krakatoa erupting 5 billion times in a row. Even the most extreme director would never come up with something like that. You might try to calculate what size crater the asteroid would leave, but that would be pointless. It would be like playing agar.io at the moment when a big player swallows up a smaller one. Basically, such an impact would send our planet flying apart into hundreds of pieces. Perhaps some of these pieces, if they had the right shape, would become moons for other planets. Other fragments of our planet would become those same cosmic wanderers that are the asteroids. That's all we have for now. We hope that everything will be fine for our planet and that these asteroids will pass us by. We hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.